remember three important things before starting the examination first you need a good source of natural light secondly you need clean hands thirdly you need to move from the cephalocaudal direction because the jaundice in the neonate moves from head towards the sole you have to blanch the skin for around 5 seconds and look at the skin underneath you don't need to look at the sclera for jaundice in a neonate thank you in order to check sucking reflex in a newborn use your clean finger and stimulate the upper and lower lips of the baby and put it inside the mouth of the baby the baby starts sucking in the direction of the stimulus for eliciting morose reflex support the infant in semi erect position and then allow the head to fall on your hands Here you stroke the foot laterally that leads to dorsiflexion of the big toe. In order to check the crossed extension reflex, keep the baby in supine position and extend one leg of the baby, stimulate the sole of that foot, the other leg would flex, adduct and then extend. In supporting reflex, as you lower the newborn until both feet touch the surface of the table, the baby partially extends hips and knees as if trying to support his weight. In this reflex called as stepping reflex when you bring the baby down so that one sole of the baby touches the table top when the baby tries to make group sequential walking movements to elicit placing reflex stimulate the dorsum of the foot at the under surface of the table baby would lift the stimulated foot and place it on the surface to check asymmetric tonic neck reflex keep the neonate lying on back with shoulders horizontal then turn the head to 90 degrees on one side for 15 seconds You will notice the ipsilateral arm and leg would extend while the other side would flex. Thank you. I'm going to demonstrate you neonatal gallant reflex or truncal incurvation reflex. Ensure that your hands are completely clean, then hold the baby in ventral suspension gently like this. Stroke lightly down the back on one side of the spine. The normal response is for the newborn to curve the spine strongly with concavity towards the stimulated side. 